Hey guys, Dean here. So, a lot of you guys want to play Minecraft Java Edition on mobile, but most of you guys are playing Bedrock Edition, right? Which is the Windows 10 and mobile version. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the mobile Java Edition version. So, if you want to play Minecraft Java Edition on mobile phone instead of playing Bedrock, the best app for this that I found is called MC in a Box, okay? So, this is the Minecraft Java Edition launcher for Android, and I'm going to show you guys just how to download it. This is a GitHub page. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Basically, you just want to scroll scroll down and you can view some information around here about the installation, how to start. But first of all, what we're going to go ahead and do is where it says releases on the right hand side, go here. And then under assets, you want to click download on this mcinabox.apk. Okay. And when you download it, you can then open it up on your phone. And when you're on your phone and you've installed it, you should now have this on your home screen. So I'm going to open up MC in a box and you'll see this is what it looks like, right? So on here, we have a bunch of options, guys. So we have plugins on the left. We can add different plugins over here. We have the game list so we can install new versions. This is where we can actually install the game. We have the global game settings. Depending on how fast your phone is, you can assign more maximum memory. So this is just like on computer, right? When you assign more RAM to the game, it allows you to run the game quicker. This is the exact same thing. And we also have keyboard layout settings. We have Java virtual machine settings. Just a bunch of settings to modify the game. Then we have the game menus. So basically, where is the game going to save and all the files for the game, right? Then we have launcher settings. So you can see we can import things. We can actually install the forge installer so we can actually locate the forge installer over here we can download minecraft from the official download source or some third-party servers if you want to download it from different websites virtual keyboard settings is how we play minecraft so obviously if you're playing bedrock edition which is pocket edition you have like the joystick and all the keys on screen so you can actually play on phone this is how we can change everything so obviously we can change these to custom keys and change the keybinds i'd recommend not touching this but if you want to change the keybinds that's precisely how you would do it so we want to go up to game list. We want to install a new version and we can install stable versions. We can install snapshots if you want to play the latest versions of the game or test builds. We can install older versions. So maybe you want to play on like the old betas where it says A, that basically means Minecraft alpha. And then obviously if we scroll up where it says B, that means Minecraft beta. So if you want to play a Minecraft beta release or an alpha release to play the old versions of the games, that's basically how you do it. So there's a bunch of versions here. Even if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we have a few early versions. So we have have in dev and a few of the versions which are even before alpha so it's pretty crazy so we're going to go ahead to stable version we're going to install 1.19.4 and it will say the selected version at the top and then you just press download and then it will say download speed the total progress and you can see that we can download the game you can also cancel it by going off it that's basically how you install minecraft on mc in a box on mobile so you can play and obviously on those launcher settings if you're having problems actually installing minecraft you can change the download source to one of these different options and then press refresh fresh and try and download a version. I'm getting download failed because I'm using the PC to show you this. I'm not actually on the mobile. I'm simulating a mobile phone on the computer, but this is how you would install the game and configure it. Then also for users, this is how you add a user. So if you want to play on your personal Java mode account, this is how. Press add new user. You want to type in your username. Online login basically means that you will actually log in. So if I would just type in the username, let's just say I type in the Blue Crusader and we press online login, then basically it sets the default server to the mojang server so that will mean that you're going to log into the mojang log in for minecraft or you're going to log into microsoft if your account's on microsoft right so that's where you type in your password or your email or username and then you'd log in if you untick online login that basically just creates an offline user so that's if you don't actually own the game or if you own the game but you're not using your account right so we're going to tick that i believe you need a login before you actually install the game but you can try doing it without and then the home page when you've downloaded the versions from the game list you can press select version just like you would on the windows launcher for java edition and that's where you can actually select your game version and start playing the game so i hope this was a really useful quick tutorial for you guys who are fans of the channel who want to play java edition but you only have a mobile phone or maybe your computer's not good enough i just want to show you guys a quick video to help you guys out so that you can actually install the java mods from the top 10 videos we do on this channel instead of only the bedrock mods right so now you can play with both of them if you need any help with anything do drop some comments down below i'll try my best to get back to you maybe you have questions on installing it or getting your account to work i'll try and help you out now you can actually use minecraft forge on this too because like i said though on the launch settings there is settings to do with the forge installer so you can install forge i believe you have to install it manually as you can see we have the forge installer and it opens up this box so if you downloaded it into your downloads folder from the forge website then you would click this and then you locate the file and you have the forge installer right so there's a way to install forge and then you can install the mods manually but you have to install the mods 
manually through your mobile phone from downloading them and have to manually set everything up. Installing the vanilla game is really easily just following the steps from this video. So if this was useful, give the video a like and subscribe and I'll catch you real soon.